Okay, so find the equation of the tangent line to the parabola at the point where x equals 1. So we're going to have a, uh, a parabola, and then at some point where, I don't know where it is, going to be somewhere around here, what is the equation of this line right here, the tangent line? So that's what we're looking for. Steps are, uh, you have to find the derivative of y first. So that's going to be negative 5 uh, plus 6x, or 6x minus 5. You're going to want to put x equals 1 into this expression for the derivative, because that's the, going to be the slope of the tangent line. So y prime evaluated at 1 is going to be 6 times 1 minus 5, or 1. So you have a slope of the tangent line, looks like equaling 1. And then y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And what that says is that's the equation for the line now. So we're going to put a point that we know that's on this line, which is going to be the point of tangency. So if x equals 1, what does y equal? Well, we have to go back to the original equation to find that out. And so y equals 6 minus 5 times 1 plus 3 times 1 squared. y equals 1 plus 3 is 4. I'm doing this real quick, so if, I'm, if I miss, up, miss something, let me know. But it looks like now we have a point on this tangent line that is the point 1, 4. So we go back to this right here, and we're going to have y minus 4 equals, the slope is 1 times x minus, the x value is 1. y equals x minus 1 plus 4, or y equals x plus 3. Um, I, well, I, ideally this y equals mx plus b is the best yeah. format to do it in, yes. Uh, so that would be ideal. Um, if, uh, if you leave it like this, I guess, I don't know, uh, not ideal, but like this is much easier to graph, right? So for the most part, you'd, for some things you'd have to graph. So I, I always encourage y equals mx plus b. So, but anyways, uh, does that help? And, and maybe we should check that. Uh, just m tan for the tangent line, so slope of the tangent line. Mm 